Namaskar, welcome back to my channel and actually I'm now heading towards my third investment property that I purchased in 2018 April. Yes, now it just got vacant so thought it's the time to give you guys property tour. So I'm gonna give you the tour. Also, this property made me so far over 200,000 Canadian dollars. Yes, that's right. Um, with just 35,000 investment. So, um, you know, st stick till the end. I'm gonna share all the details, how it made me that much money. And also, what is the expected rent? What was it rented for so far? And all those details, so stay tuned. So welcome, this is my third property. It's actually a, a one and a half story, three bedroom on the second floor, one full bath in the second floor, dining kitchen and living on the main floor and the one bedroom in the basement and one half bath in the basement um, you can see there you know it's a, a almost a, most part is a, a brick and there is some part stucco and a nice front porch there is a decent uh, backyard and you can park two cars in the driveway and a storage shed so storage shed, uh, it's a good size. You can throw a lot of stuff in there or you can use it as a main cave, but there is no hydro. <laughs> Sorry. So come, let's check out the property tour. Okay, here you go. Welcome. Come on in. So this is a, a okay size dining. Uh, there is a fireplace, but we this, don't want the tenant to use it. So we closed it. Um, it was actually a garbage place when I purchased uh, three years ago. I actually replaced the flooring, I did some painting, changed some light fixtures, all the basic cosmetic lifts. I didn't do any major renovations in this house. I only spent like 10, 12,000 for flooring, painting, light fixtures, door handles, um, and some, you know, clean up uh, and window pans and all those things. So come. Dining, again, okay, decent uh, lighting. You can see poor tenants, looks like uh, there is a lot of heat loss. They did a lot of plaster all over the windows. So probably it's time to change the windows. I'm, I, I'm planning to change this in the next few days. And here's the kitchen, again, if you have watched my other property tours, I love to open the open up the kitchens. But this one, when I purchased, it was in an okay condition. You know, the cabinets were just like that. I didn't change anything. I didn't even change the flooring in the kitchen. So it was it's an okay size. Was good for the family. They were paying 1500 rent for the last one two and a half years, and they were happy. Again, a small mudroom. You can hang out with your friends. So you can see the back here, pretty good size. Actually, one cool thing with this house, uh, I can even build a tiny home instead of that uh, storage shed there. Uh, I might plan for that in future. Let's check out the basement. So in the basement, I honestly, I haven't done pretty much anything except I changed the furnace because when I purchased it, the furnace was like ages old and it was already like, you know, not running properly. So that's the only change I did in the basement. But there is a lot of room for storage, you know, storage here. And as I mentioned, a nice good sized bedroom, but it's pretty short, so it's not really a bedroom. It's just a, probably I would say storage or play area because there is no window here.
like I mentioned, I didn't even paint this uh, basement. For some reason, I was not willing to spend money. Um, I just put a flooring here, just the vinyl stickers. Other than that, I didn't even touch that. You know, I, honestly, I don't like the washroom that much. It's just a half um, washroom. I just changed the vanity. I put the flooring and painted it. Uh, that's it. I didn't do anything because, uh, you know, probably at that point in time, I don't want to spend much money on this property, but probably I, I might redo this basement now. And you have a washer and dryer. Again, same thing, all the garbage tenants left over. So I'm gonna clean it up. I was thinking maybe this time I'll just do some painting, fix some little things like that. So you can see new furnace. I like rim company. Probably there is no lighting. Let me put some light to show you guys. Here you go. You can see. And let's go upstairs. In this property, pretty much all the bedrooms are on the second floor and a washroom. Um, one thing you might notice, you know, there are some places where it's still wooden drywall. It's not even drywall, wooden panels, those old style. So for now, I just painted. I don't want to spend, again, like I mentioned, too much money, but I changed the flooring. So let's come inside. The bedrooms are pretty good size. There is a lot of storage. Uh, very good size. That's one thing I like about the property. It's a nice brick and good size bedrooms. That's why I purchased this property. So again, you can see master bedroom, pretty good size. There is a closet in here. Closet. There's deep closet in there. Go ahead. <laughs> so come in. Here's the second bedroom. Pretty much again, I haven't... It looks like the tenants who lived so far, they kept the place so clean. They didn't do much damage. You know, the flooring is, has is, haven't done any damage. The light fixtures are good. Good size closet. Good size closet. So third bedroom, kids bedroom also a decent size. Uh, that's, a, that's a cool thing about this property, there is a pretty good size. And you can see the backyard, very good size, perfect for kids to play. And there is a back alley behind that uh, storage, there is an alleyway. So that goes directly to the uh, main road there. There, there you go. And here is the final thing in the house, washroom. So here, it's pretty much the washroom has is when I purchased. Um, I didn't even change the flooring, the toilet was like that, vanity was like that, tub, same thing, I haven't changed anything, pretty much. Maybe now I might, I'm thinking, I'm debating, maybe let me know your thoughts, what do you think I need to do in this? house what do you think um, you would like to see changes in this house uh, from this condition because I was thinking to do some improvements I don't want to do too, spend too much money at this point but still um, I want to do little improvements like recocking kind of things but I want to hear from you okay so hope you enjoyed the tour so far let me know how is it in the comments below um, Again, I know you're curious, waiting to hear the numbers of this property. Okay, so like I said, I purchased this property in 2018 April. That's the time. At that time, this property in this location, um, the prices of this of detached homes in this area was like hundred thousand ish. I got this one for hundred and two thousand. That's right, you heard it right, 102,000. And uh, I invested like probably uh, 10 to 12,000 for flooring, some light fixtures, some fixes, and painting. 
uh, that's pretty much it like I did some railings uh, some window panels little things the overall 10 to 12,000 that's pretty much it I invested and then immediately within like few weeks I rented out for 1500 so um, with the 80,000 mortgage um, property tax are low uh, 150-ish um, and insurance is hundred dollars per month so my overall expenses on this property was like approximately thousand dollars and I was making five hundred dollars cash flow so I was just sitting on it till now for last two and a half years the same tenant lived here they bought purchased a property so that's why they moved out now so I was making five hundred dollars per month cash flow every month for last two and a half years but on top of that luckily I think this was you know one I did my research I liked the location because at that point West Windsor was still coming up you know many people had a stigma oh West Windsor I don't like it but I purchased this one in 2018 right I lived in this area actually my apartment that I lived is just uh, two houses down the street it's literally like walkable distance from this property so I lived here in 2017 so I, I like the location because a lot of uh, international students a lot of uh, you know immigrant families so I, I felt like comfortable I, I didn't feel I didn't felt any you know um, um, rough kind of area feeling whereas like you know a lot of local people told me that this is kind of a you know rough area but because I lived here that's why I was confident and I, I purchased this property so thank God I just refinanced literally uh, one and a half month ago my appraisal value came for 308,000 yes you heard it right 308,000 I purchased for 102 I invested like 10 to 12,000 and my cash flow was 15 500 dollars every month for last two and a half years so that is like already made my renovation money and now the property value appraised for 308 80% loan to value literally I pulled out like 160,000 something um, which means I invested 35,000 and I took way more money than that so my returns are crazy it made literally 200,000 equity in the property like 200,000 um, equity sitting in my property and I pulled it I didn't even kept it right there I pulled majority of it out so that's the story of this property again you know I got lucky over the time because uh, you know Windsor market is still appreciating pretty solidly but uh, if you want to buy a detached home in this area right now um, they are somewhere from 250 to 300 price range uh, most likely in West Windsor uh, between two bridges so that's another thing one of the reason why I like this location is it's coming up I feel it's it can grow even more because it's between two bridges and close to not too far from university and the new construction bridge is only like one and a half kilometer from here so that's pretty much it let me know how do you like the property and let me know how do you like the numbers um, with that I'm gonna sign off thank you so much make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment and hit the bell notification have a wonderful day